morning. I thought I'd just do a quick video today about um, the GoPro Capture app working with the Hero 5 Session. Um, it's pretty easy, but I just thought I'd share with you my um, Protune settings because I do actually use Protune. I used to use it in flat color, now I just tend to use GoPro color. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into, you need to make sure that your GoPro is on the same Wi-Fi network as the um, iPhone as in you need to set it to the GoPro Wi-Fi. Um, to do that on the session, to do that on the session, you just go through the um, mode button. You just go through the mode button until you get to connection settings and when you're in connection settings you press that now it's got turn off connection I'm actually connected at the moment so I'll leave that on and then you need to go into your Wi-Fi settings your settings it's already connected to the GoPro okay so you'll get this screen that has GoPro with your number you just touch on the camera icon. It has my other camera, my GoPro Hero 4 Black there as well. You just touch on the camera. It tells me there's an update available, which I'll skip just for this video. Oops, sorry, let me just skip for this video. And then I'm connected to the camera. And the camera at the moment, as you can see, is just showing my desktop. And it's now connected to the app. So all you need to do is go into, to obviously the red button's record, we'll just go into settings first. So the settings, I normally have it set at 2.7K. You have all these options on the GoPro Hero 5 session, 4K, 2.7K, etc. Um, then I do the frames per second, I always do 25 frames per second for just normal recording. Field of view I'm still playing with, I've been using linear but I still like medium, but there is a bit of curvature. I mean, super view is just, just too wide, I think, for me, for what I need. Electronic image stabilization. Um, you can turn that on or off. At the moment, I have it off. I think it crops the, the, the video down a bit, it crops the uh, image down a bit, so I've left it off for now. Spot meter I have on, and then you've got your ProTune setting. So when you turn this off, all the other items disappear, but this is ProTune. In color, you can set it at GoPro color or flat. Um, I've been leaving it on GoPro color just so that I don't have to do the color too much color correction in Final Cut. When I do put it on flat, I normally use Film Convert Pro for the um, film grains and film colors, which actually works quite well. White balance at the moment, I have it on on auto, but you would need to change that depending on the situation. Manual expo exposure, so 25 shutter speed would be 150, sorry 25 frames a second is 150 shutter speed. Um, ISO mode, I've got it at max, but you can lock that, can, like I said, depending on what you need it for. ISO limit, I set at 400 just so I don't get so much noise in the image. Sharpness, I always set sharpness at low. If you need to fix up the sharpness, you can do so in post. And then you've got the reset ProTune setting. Now these are the ProTune settings just for video. Just for video. So at the moment you can see there's a bit of light in here. Oops, wrong one. There's a bit of light in here, so. Okay, so just an example of the um, GoPro color in, um, sorry, the color in protein settings when it's not in GoPro color. This is in flat. So you'll see when it changes to flat, sorry, excuse my hands. You see when it changes to flat that it's not as saturated. So that will allow you I mean, I'm not technical about these things, so don't, don't criticize me in the comments, but 
basically it, the flat profile means that when you take it into post um, you can adjust your um, highlights and your shadows and then you can adjust the color the good thing about um, you have you know you have the ability to get more dynamic range out of the video um, the thing is with the flat color it works really well if you use a um, like a LUT the lookup color table um, a LUT, I mean the easy ones to use, I mean there's the easy one to use is just use a film convert LUT that I have it for GoPro and you literally in Final Cut Pro you just drag it across to your timeline and then you can adjust the, the intensity of the of the effect. Um, a lot of people on YouTube are using this, I know that um, there's also Red Giant, I know that Sarah Deitchi, Deitchi or whatever her name is, she uses Red Giant color. Um, but you know, it depends if you want to do it for your vlogs or not. But anyway, that's flat color. Like I said, I tend to leave it in, I tend to leave the color in uh, GoPro, GoPro color, but with the ProTune settings. Okay, so to turn on the camera, <coughs> to turn on the camera, you just press this button at the back. I think they call it the mode button. On the screen then will appear what you lost last shot your footage in. Um, there is a quick capture control, which I haven't, I don't really know what that is, to be honest, but there is a quick capture control. So if you go through the mode button, it goes through the different settings. So you can enter the photo mode, then you've got your camera settings, then you've got stabilized video to turn uh, electronic image stabilization on or off. Then you've got voice control, uh, where you set the voice control to be on or off, and you set your language based on your nationality, English, American, etc. Then you have your connection settings, which allows you to turn off the connection to the GoPro Capture app or to initialize the settings to the GoPro Capture app. Then you have the thing which is exit menu, which turns off the GoPro Hero 5 session. Um, in the camera settings, if you want to go in, into that menu, you press the shutter button. At the moment, it's 2.7K 25. If you want to confirm that, you tick the tick. If you don't want to confirm it, if I went like that, that means I've confirmed that video mode. Voice control, you can turn it off or on. So on, press the shutter button off. So I'm going to leave it off for now. Voice control is turned off, so it gives you the message. <clears throat> Still quite confusing to get used to which button you have to press in which order, but the shutter button and the mode button work together. You, you just It's just trial and error, really. and exit menu, turns the camera off. If you need to set up the Hero 5 session, I would do it through the um, GoPro Capture app. I would try to avoid as much as possible using the settings in the camera. Um, it does work, it's a little bit fiddly, um, I find it a little bit annoying. Um, so I would use the GoPro Camera app, which like I showed you before, you just touch on your camera. It's now connecting to the camera, that's what that beep is. Skip the update again. Okay, so that's the live view. I go into settings. Um, and like I said, you've got all the settings there. You've got your video settings, your photo settings, your multi-shot settings, basic setup with language, voice controls, etc. Uh, delete the memory card if you need to. I mean, most of the times you have your iPhone with you, so I would, I would tend to use the app to set up the um, GoPro Hero 5 session, it's just easier. I mean, it's nice that it has a little display and you can see what you're in, but in general, I would uh, I would use the app. Um, the other part of the app, which I didn't show, is this bit, which shows all the media that you've recorded, which is easy to take off your phone. You just um, transfer it to your camera roll. Um, and then you've got this setting, which is a camera setting at the bottom right-hand corner. 
which gives you video, video and photo looping. You also have your single night and burst shot. And then you have your time lapse, <coughs> time lapse photo, night lapse, and time lapse video. I've only used time lapse video, which I think I might have put in something before. Maybe not. But the time lapse video seems to work quite well. And that's it. And that's just in standard video mode. I mean, obviously, the other setting and resolution that you would pick, and I, I don't tend to do it in 4K, but is um, just paint uh, 1080. But I can form everything to a um, to a 1080 timeline anyway in Final Cut Pro. Okay, that's about it. Thank you.